Okay, this is for Mac the Knife. Um, just a little explanation on how to create the uh, simulation for my Burns Bees project. So I'm just going to use a very simple setup. So we have a box and a ball. So I'm in setup mode. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to my box. I'm going to make that a passive rigid body. So it's not going to move. The ball is going to be an active rigid body. So when I hit the simulation button down here, it doesn't work because there is a, something that still needs to be adjusted. In the box, you go down to the dynamics tab, and then you bring this down to mesh. So I hit apply. Let's go back in our simulation, and it will incorporate the mesh instead of a simplified box shape. So the next thing to do is uh, I'm gonna create duplicates of the balls. So go to the modeling tab, hit array, and I'm gonna just do a five by five by five, one meter offset in between. And then I've got uh, instances on and hierarchy on. So I hit apply and I drop my tool and I've got a series of balls. So, hit apply, and then um, I run the simulation, and it will gradually, uh, gradually um, just drop into the box, and will drop off into oblivion. So, so once that simulation is done, the screen simulation, then I need to actually make it work in the timeline. So what you need to do is push this button and then you set up your start time and end time for the simulation. I'm going to put 100 frames. So it takes a few seconds to do this. Uh, with the bird's bees it took quite a while because there were much more complex objects and there are many more. So um, usually I usually like to give it a, a few seconds, a few minutes, sometimes maybe even five minutes. And then uh, so now uh, we can hit the uh, play button and see that our simulation is cached and at 100 frames it goes pops back up so one thing nice about simulations is that uh, you can uh, run them and then pause them wherever you want them so basically it. Thank you very much.